We've been on this location since 1912. Um, a lot of families in here and family traditions and many generations of families have helped hold the club together and then there's been a great influx of uh, new members and newer, younger curlers. But we did have our peaks and valleys in the 70s and 80s. We were at low points for our membership and then uh, for whatever reason we started to come back and grow our membership back up into the 90s and 2000s back to capacity. So we're one of the, um, what they call the founding families of the curling club. Over 80 plus years. My dad's last name is Armstrong, and that was my maiden name. And so the Armstrong family has been curling here for five generations now. Our names are on many of the um, trophies, and my, my dad's name is on a banner, as well as myself and my husband. This club has a historical feel to it, so it's uh, your traditional curling club that has a fireplace and you know there's old trophies on the wall and um, there's people here of all ages. There's 90 year olds out there curling, there's also youth curling. We're a curling club and we uh, hang our hat on our membership and our volunteers, everything they do for the club. I moved here two years ago from Boston. Um, I came to St. Paul to pursue competitive curling. We practice during the day and we also play in leagues at night. Um, so this club has just uh, provided me with a community that has welcomed me to St. Paul and made me feel like I have a home here. We curled that evening and then we stayed open for the game and they watched it uh, through the end. I was pretty electric down here. I've known John Schuster since he was 14, so it was super special to see such a good friend, you know, be so successful on, on the Olympic stage. PGA of America was here shooting a promotional for uh, the announcement of the 2028 Ryder Cup. Um, so they had the Olympic team down here with their gold medals and they were doing a little private video. They always enjoy coming back to St. Paul. St. Paul is just home. We're really blessed to have in our lives and, and, and have had for years. The gentlemanness of the sport, the kids calling their own fouls, play the game and play it well. And I just think that's a super special thing that no other sport has. Oh.